All right, internet. Oh, my camera is. Oh, there it is. Hello. Um, problems with the Rover. Okay. Um, started today to look at some stuff that I can fix myself. Um, because I can't book it in anywhere at the moment, or everywhere is that I can book has been booked. So just waiting. So today I removed this. From the car this is the electric window um, rear front and electric mirror left or right or right or left and the powerful button it's all in one unit on the driver's side uh, there's an excellent how-to on the uh, members forum um, or the owners forum I should say uh, on how to do this so I got this out of the car using a credit card to try and try and run it underneath and uh, yeah you can use a credit card um, but just be warned uh, it does chew them up a bit that's my national heritage card but I used a credit card <laughs> and uh, it's a bit worse for wear now yeah Never mind. Encourage me not to spend money. So, so I'm going to try and take this apart. You have to remove clips. These in here. You have to poke in, pokey poker, simultaneously pokey pokey things, and get this two separated like that. Well, that came off quite easily. You don't need to do it simultaneously if you're careful but be gentle because these are quite brittle so they can snap and you don't want, really want to do that so um you just basically when this is closed yeah you stick a screwdriver below in the little seam below each one of the clips and and then kind of lever it out a little bit and if you leave them all just slightly leave it out and you're careful so they don't clip back in. You can just go around it and then they box off. All right. Now I've got to take the bottom part off. Uh, yeah, and this it's like there's these clips around the bottom. So probably the same thing. So let's give that a go. Without snapping it, obviously, because that's not okay. Okay. Careful. Definitely don't want to be snapping anything here. Okay, so that's kind of levered that side a bit. I'm going to do the other side. So I'll be gentle. Oh, so I'll pop this one back on now. I don't know, it's still lifted. That's all right. Okay. Oh, button. Mm -hmm. This is when it gets a bit tricky. And someone's texting me, which is annoying. Here we go. Last one, hopefully. And, yeah. There we go. All right. So, I'll probably clean that up later because there's lots of muckiness. Oh, it's really... Can you see how mucky that is? So sort of dust and grime. So I'll probably give that a good old clean. So this is what's underneath. As the uh, owner's forum will tell you, this membrane covers the printed circuit board. Let you take off. There's the printed circuit board. Okay. Now these are like old school calculators, right? I don't know if you remember them. With the rubber buttons. All right, so if you have a calculator, or even better example for an old school person would be a Sinclair ZX16 computer from the 80s. I don't know if you remember them, but they had rubber, rubber keyboards in a plastic case. And when you took the case up, basically the whole thing was just a rubber membrane with raised keyboard parts in it. And underneath these, there would be... So inside there, there's little metal contacts. Okay, that's the dark bits. And 
that's the bit where the wing mirror selector thing is these little shiny bits just have some post so you have to wash this apparently in soapy water let it dry and then I can already see some dirt on here but if you look on here all these gold parts these gold contacts yeah that's where those bits make contact with those bits and that's what makes your um, buttons work so they all need to be cleaned with contact cleaner or a pencil eraser which will work um, I'll probably do both because I've got both not particularly dirty though uh, I'll do it clean that and we'll put it all back together and see if it works all right all right so um, one washed and cleaned and dried Membrane for the electric window mirror switch pack. Okay, use my little heat gun to dry it off. But be careful if you do that because you don't want to melt it, obviously. Um, I gave this a clean, not the best clean in the world, but it'll do. Baby wipe kind of got in there. You can't take all these off particularly easy. I imagine you have to undo some of that stuff. I didn't really want to get involved in that too much. So I just cleaned what was kind of obviously dirty. Can't really get under these parts all that well. I don't know if you can see under there, it's still dirty. But there you go. So put it back together. Right. Okay. So da -da -da -da. let's just remember how to do this. Yeah. So, oops. By the way. These don't come off, but these ones do, these little shoulder buttons, which lock the left and or right mirror to choose which mirror you want to adjust with that. Okay, they, they just come off. All right, so I'll lay the membrane back on the Ubery flip, like that. There we go, that's back on. Okay. Then we're going to put the switch pack button part over the top. So let's do that. <laughs> gently, gently, catchy monkey. Snap it into place. Should snap down the six clips. Good. Yeah. Make sure they're all done properly. Don't want to put it back in the car and then be put back together properly. So, okay. Yeah, so they're all in. It was nice and quite solid. And the buttons. Yep. Okay, and then we just put the housing top back on. Same deal. Six clips. Just be able to clip it. Yep. Back on. And make sure all the clips are seated. Yep, 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 yep. So it's not coming off. Good. All right. So that's back together. So let's go put it in the car. See if it works. It's easy. Uh, there's two pins on the bottom. Yeah, or two sockets rather. That's from the loom that goes through the door and it just sits inside the cavity where that comes out of. And you take those two out. One of them has got like a push clip, it makes it come out easily. This one didn't seem to, so I had to kind of wrestle with it a bit, but I got it in the end. Right, let's go to the car. So we're going to put it back together. Uh, I just, just noticed something now that I'm in bright, sunshiny daylight. You can see, if you look carefully, just around the bottom. Oops, I'm trying to put this down. Okay. Right. It's dirty. Of course. I'll give it a clean, get back to the car and find bits I've missed. That's what you'd expect, really. Um, but anyway, you can just about see it. I've just scraped some off. Dirt here and here. So below this wing mirror position selector yeah you see you can really see it there and it looks like whoever owned this car previously really went to town on adjusting the window the wind mirrors the windows the wing mirrors um because you can see there's loads of dirt on both of these buttons which are the ones that select which uh, mirror you're working on um so that might be why 
and there's certainly a lot more there than there is on any of these switches or around these. So I think we had a bit of a wing mirror happy man. Um, and that's why it got worn out. Doesn't mean it's going to work now when I put it back together, but let's see. So let's put you at an angle where you can kind of see for a minute anyway. So there's the hole. Let me get it. Can't show you. There you go. So that is where that switch pack comes out of. That's the two connectors that go in the back of it. And so guess what? Please. They don't work. So that's um, frustrating a little bit. But so is that down to the fact that uh, I only used a pencil eraser to clean up the contacts uh, on the circuit board? Is that it? Or is it something else? Now, uh, my brain thinks it could be a fuse, but then my brain would think, well, surely the uh, power fold button and the windows buttons, which all do work. Yeah, that works, that all works. Backs work as well. Probably can't see that, but there we go. Oh, good. That one's stopped working altogether now. Let's, uh, there we go. No, it's fine. It was the ignition. <laughs> that was a bit scary. All right. Um, so the windows work. Yep. But the mirror's still... Oh! Okay, I've got some life in one of them. But, <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, come on. Yeah, right. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Right, okay. So that one is moving in all of the directions. Not very well, but it is. So that one's adjusting. All right, I'll leave it. I'll get it adjusted and then I'll just leave it. That's about right for me. Let's try this side. Oh, so it seems to be that they've just kind of woken up. Cool. Judging by the sound of the motor, hasn't really been used in a while. Oh, because they're struggling a bit. Now, what's, whether that's the motor struggling or the contacts, I don't know. It may be that it's kind of drying out after I did my business on it, my cleaning. So that might be why it didn't work immediately, although I did dry it out. But um, yeah, oh. well, they're working. Yeah, all right. So that's one thing fixed by myself. Thank you to the forum. Um, forum member Reeves, I think. Uh, Reeves um, replied to a, a message that I'd put on about these videos that I'm doing and um, gave me a thread to follow for fixing this switch pack. And it has worked. So for that, I am very grateful. Thank you, Reeves, And thank you um, for the lovely support on the uh, Rover MG forum. Uh, it's a good community. So if you do pick one of these cars, there's quite a lot of people out there that are very helpful. You probably want to check that with whatever car you're thinking of buying a second-hand one uh, because some don't have any real communities built up about them and others do and uh, this kind of car is one that happens to have that and it makes life a lot easier okay so that's that job for today um might see if i can figure something else out or oh, just see if my cruise control button's working actually let's just try that let's turn the ignition on all right let's just see if it lights up oh it lights up so does my heated seat. So does that one. So they all light up those things. So that mean that means they may work. Which would be amazing. Right. Okay. Oh, before I forget. Yeah, power folding my mirrors. Okay. Bye.